A six-pack of bouts featuring some of the best stand-up fighters on the planet is on tap. Frenchman Johan Young Perez Fovo looks to improve his glory record to 2-0 against the debuting Hinata, representing Japan in lightweight action. In another lightweight clash, American Kai Hollenbeck steps up on short notice to stare into the eyes of the hurricane, decorated Dutch veteran Albert Kraus. Two American light heavyweights meet when Brian the Lion Colette collides with Randy Boom Boom Blake. More lightweight action sees Suriname's Andy the Machine Risty square off against Denmark's Nicholas the Destroyer Larsen. France's Priest Nectar Guidon battles the Netherlands' Jafar Wilness in a clash of heavyweights. And Russia's Alexander the Great Stetsarenko makes his glory debut against Armenian Karapet Karapetian in 170-pound competition. The Glory's 10 Super Fight Series is about to begin. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Citizens Business Bank Arena for an evening of world-class international kickboxing. Some of the world's best head west to fight their way up the glory rankings as Glory Sports International, the world's premier kickboxing organization, presents the Glory Super Fight Series. All of our bouts tonight sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission. Their executive officer is Andy Foster. And now, fight fans, are you ready for glory? Asia and Europe collide in our first super fight of the evening. And now making his way to the ring and making his glory debut, here is Hinata! Making his glory debut is Hinata! The Rising Sun representing the land of the Rising Sun, Japan. He is undefeated this year with three wins in his native country. The latest being a June victory by way of left head kick KO. He won the lightweight championship earlier this year in Rebels in Japan, which is one of the leading organizations in that country's domestic kickboxing scene. And Stephen, a solid foundation for a step up into the glory ranks. And more, you mentioned that left kick. He gets things done not only to the head, but also to the body. He is a southpaw, and he throws everything, whether it be punches or kicks, with full power. His opponent, one of the top talents on the French kickboxing circuit. Please welcome Johan Thauvo. Is it Johan Favreau or is it British boxing great Ricky Hatton? Remember, I was in there, England, last November when he had his final fight against Vyacheslav Sinchenko. He came out to this song. It was his trademark, but now Favreau looking to carry the torch. He is a big boxing fan. In fact, he's had pro boxing experience with a record of 3-1 and one with two wins by KO. He says he likes to fight like Arturo Gatti and all of the great Mexican warriors led by Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. Coming off a win over Konstantin Pasnichuch at Glory 5 in London last March. Yeah, and he fights with a strategy of the best defense is a good offense. Very accurate straight left hand. As a matter of fact, everything he throws is on point. An excellent combination puncher. He's also fought numerous fights under Muay Thai rules with a record of 22-2-1 with 15 wins inside the distance. Let's go to the tail of the tape for this a super fight matchup. Age and height don't really show significant differences per se, and I doubt the jet lag will either because they're both traveling long distances. And although uh, Watanabe has almost 10 fights more than the French counterpart, Favu has twice as many KOs. Three judges chosen by the California State Athletic Commission will be scoring each bout using the 10-point must system. The winner of each round receives 10 points. His opponent, nine or less, according to the following prioritized criteria. Number one, number of knockdowns. Two, cumulative damage. Three, number of clean scoring strikes with spectacular techniques. Four, number of clean scoring strikes with normal techniques. And five, degree of aggressiveness. Once again, here's the international voice of glory, Tim Hughes. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, this lightweight super fight scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, one of Asia's bright, young, lightweight talents. His professional record, 26 wins, 14 losses, one draw. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, 1.81 meters. Weight in at five time and an even 154 pounds, 69.9 kilos. He's here tonight representing Japan. Here is Rising Sun. Hinata! Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner, a three-time French Muay Thai champion, reigning ISKA lightweight champion, with a record of 28 wins, three losses, one draw, 16 big knockouts on that record. Standing 5 feet 10 inches tall, 1.78 meters, and weighing it at 152 pounds, 68.9 kilos, he represents France, ladies and gentlemen, Johan Young Perez Fou Your referee for this contest is Dan Stell. Let's oh. up, gentlemen, three rounds. Let's obey my commands all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch close, come out the bell. Good luck to both of you. Referee is Dan Stell. Three three minute rounds. In the Dot. Glory Lightweight Six. Division, Mauro Ranello along with the fight professor Dot. Stephen Quadros, a ringside. Fauveau nicknamed Nothing. Young Perez, Nothing. a reference to Victor Perez, a Jewish Tunisian boxer killed in the Holocaust. Fauveau's grandfather, who was friends with Perez and a boxing fan, got him into martial arts at an early age. And he began training in karate initially before switching to boxing and Muay Thai, of course, in glory. Unlike Muay Thai, there are no elbow strikes, Stephen, and a fast start here as we expected. There really is a fast start, and it's the power as we expected from Hinata. Stop! Stay back. Let's go. Let's I go. think that uh, it's like this is basically the technician in Fobo, and uh, the man from Japan has got the big kicks. Yes, his strong kicking Stop. game Stop. has Stop caused back. problems for a lot of opponents. No playing a key no part in victories over the likes of Mike Zambidis and Arthur Koshenko. It's one of those things where Hinata, you know what's going to happen. It's that left kick, you, and everybody knows it's coming, but yet it still blocks and it still hurts the opponent. Spinning back fist there by Hinata in the black gloves. Fovo in the white. Fovo looking to stick the jab, countered by a straight right hand from Hinata, who has Fovo on the ropes. No knockdown. Oh, that was a so nice fight. leg catch, and then he landed an inside low kick as well, and uh, Hinata went down. And Fovo checked that. Left kick by Hinata. Nice combination there by Hinata, culminating with a left low kick. These guys are so technical. They're checking kicks, they're taking kicks, they're it, delivering counter kicks. Watch your heads, gentlemen. The southpaw, Hinata, Ooh. lands a devastating left kick and another left kick, and that really is his calling card. But using no, no, no. a Let's combination, go. Stephen, working the punches and then finishing off with those kicks. Yeah, well, that's a smart thing because if you just throw a kick, you can telegraph yourself and the guy can see it coming and he can counter you or just slide out of the way. You always want to set up your kicks with punches or your punches with kicks. And not just landing some brutal kicks here to the leg. Ouch. Both fighting out of the southpaw position. A minute left in the opening round. And Hinata seems to be the more active and, dare I Stop. say, more accurate right. puncher and striker here in round one. Yeah, he's seizing the moment. He's, he's being first. And one thing I noticed is that Fobo is checking that left kick occasionally with a high check. He's got to be very careful with that, that move like that when he raises the knee up really high. Uh, Hinata could go under that and sweep him. Fobo again along the ropes. 30 seconds left in the opening frame, and Hinata Watch putting on the pressure. Fovo again looking to oh. check that left kick. That's that's doing damage. And again, those three punch oh. combinations of Fovo oh, was chopped but. down. And referee Stell drilling it a sweep, but Fovo tasting the power of Hinata's kicks. So a great start for Japan's Hinata, the rising sun here in the Glory Super Fight Series. Hey, 
Nata came in with a lot of flashy moves that, with that whip through. Sometimes comes that, the spinning back fist. It was blocked by Fobo, but if it wasn't, it could have been a big problem. And here it is again. Partially blocked, but it did land behind the ear, and that could do some damage. And here we have the low kick, uh, which landed one, over and over again, and Fobo went down. It was a borderline call. It was a good call by Dan Stella, our referee, but that was Stella, almost a knockdown because it did damage. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Two. Five. Round two underway. And not his last loss coming against Andy Risti in a shoot boxing event in Japan last November. In fact, he's lost a two to machine twice. Again, he sports the black gloves. Fovo in the white. They meet in the center of the ring. And not misses with the push kick. Goes downstairs with a low inside leg kick. Fovo is standing right in front of Hinata, and I, I believe that is a mistake. He should be moving to his left and Stop. moving a lot. Let's go. Because in this in the trenches battle, I believe that Hinata is taking the lead. He's very diverse and very versatile. Mixing up his Stop. attack okay. using a two-punch combination and finishing it off with a predominantly left kick to the leg. Now flashing the jab and again finishing with that left kick check by Fobo. I like Fobo that. again on the ropes. Yeah, you know, Fobo has got to stay off the ropes and, and be moving, I, I believe, because standing right in front of uh, Hinata, he's taking a beating to the legs. And now he's been cornered by Hanata. Stop! They Step clinch back. and referee no, Stell will break him up. They have up to three seconds to initiate an offensive attack. In the clinch, but now it's Fobo with Hanata on the ropes, but Hanata coming forward. Fobo delivering a body kick. And there is another counter left kick to the body by Hinato delivers a knee Stop. to the midsection. I'm seeing a go. lot of growth in Hinato Fight. because primarily when he was in the early part of his career, he was pretty much just a kicker. He just threw the kick. He didn't have a punch no, set up, no, but now go. he's got a one, a one, two, and a one, two, three punch set up for that left kick, and it's very effective so far. Plenty of action in this lightweight matchup of the Glory Super Fight Series. Again, the Glory Super Fight Series is where fighters accrue the ranking points needed to climb Stop. their division and qualify no, for glory down. tournaments which offer the biggest prize money in the sport inside leg kick by fovo again picking up that right leg anticipating the left kick from hanada but now fovo doing some damage along the ropes but hanada again coming forward that's the key word moral damage and right now hanada is doing the more damage inside this fight and he's basically doing a situation where Fobo doesn't really have a lot of options because he can't outpower him, but he's fighting a power fight. Stop! Step back! Step back! Let's go, gentlemen. Fight! Oh! You can hear that through the whole arena. Another left body kick by Hinata. Fobo comes back with a right kick to the body, and they exchange kicks here with less than 30 seconds remaining in the second round. It's all about the kick with Hinata. The puncher set things up, and then he blasts, and now he's starting to throw that uh, that right kick as well. Mixing it up, a little footwork, and now using all of the weapons is an arsenal is Hinata, the rising sun. Hey! Last round, 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 some of the glory strike stats, Stephen. The leg strikes. Yeah. Huge advantage there for the Japanese fighter. Yeah, it's, it's no mystery to us. I believe that Fobo has really got to do, uh, at least to get a knockdown, to try and get this into possibly an overtime round, or get a knockout. Touch him up, touch him up. Touch him up, let's go. Final Fight. round underway as Johan Young Perez, Fobo, and Hinata, the rising sun, resume. Their battle. Fovo in the white, Hinata in the black. Fovo, 31 years of age.
With a record of 28-3-1, 16 wins via form of knockout. Hinata 27 up. as he slips. 26-14-1 with nine wins via form of KO. So it's all about accumulation for Hinata. It really is the accumulation onto that right leg. And oh, that's bad. That leg is tenderized. Fobo is in trouble here with that leg. He's got to do something. He's got to land a bomb or something. He's going to get chopped down. And Hinata continues to go to the well, chopping down and now bent over. The towel's been thrown in. Hinata picks up the win here in the third round. An impressive performance for Japan's Hinata Watanabe, a.k.a. the rising sun, whose fortunes are rising here in glory. Very well put, Moro. Impressive indeed. Hinata chopped the tree down. Fobo had no answers for that left kick. So an impressive debut in glory for the 27-year-old Japanese fighter Hinata. A crestfallen Johan Young Perez Fobo who says his biggest goal in the ring is to show his heart. He displayed plenty of heart, but the left leg kicks, the litany of left leg kicks from Hinata proving to be too much for the Frenchman tonight. Chopped that tree, went high, got Fobo thinking about the head kick. Fobo started to block upside a little bit too high, and that's going shin to shin right there. It's the man with the toughest bone, and that was Hinata. Hinata going away, and right here, Fobo is a beaten fighter. Good call by the, uh, the corner to throw in the towel. Man, Hinata was super impressive with that kick. Proving to be an offensive onslaught when it comes to power kicks. Watanabe with 63 compared to Fobo's 19. Ooh. So Hinata hails from Shonan, a coastal region famous in Japan for the Shonan lifestyle of sun, beaches, and uh, dare I say beautiful women, but he's all about the fight. And Moro, Japan is having a real hot period right now for kickboxers. We saw that earlier uh, a couple months ago with Yuta Kobo taking a, a tournament. All right, let's make it official. Here once again is our ring announcer, Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an official time of 48 seconds of that third and final round. When our referee Dan Stell steps in to wave this one off, it's ruled a knockout. For your winner, Rising Sun Hinata. Renata records the third round of TKO victory over Johan Young Perez Fovo to kick off this edition of the Glory 10 Super Fight Series. Even from the very beginning, Fovo was gonna, gonna try and go out there and be technical, but he couldn't get started. Renata with the back fist and with everything else just kept pressing the action and tenderizing that front leg. Fovo was on retreat the whole fight. Really a rough night at the office for the Frenchman. Chopping away with that low kick. All right, let's go to Ron Kruk, who's standing by with the victor. Thank you, Moro. Rising Sun Hinata, you said coming into this fight that you were going to kick, kick, kick. That's exactly what you did. Did you feel that your kicks would be the difference coming into the bout? <laughs> あの、I think I have proven that my kicks are the best in the world. Congratulations. You said you wanted to bring the samurai spirit here to the US. You accomplished that. Your winner, Hinata. Moro and Steven, back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Ron. So an impressive glory debut for Hinata, who was now 4-0 and in the year 2013. A bright future ahead for the man known as the Rising Sun.